Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. It is not my birthday today. That's Coach Cole. Brooklyn's hanging out here on the side. Welcome back to another Boot Camp Challenge workout. This is workout number eight. Uh, we're in Brooklyn today filming here at Willie B. Uh, so for this workout, you're gonna need either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Coach Cole's gonna be using a dumbbell. I'm gonna be using a kettlebell. For today's workout, if you're not super proficient with a kettlebell, this might be a good day to choose a dumbbell if you have those available to you. We're gonna start off with the strength portion. Take a break, we'll transition into the conditioning, and then we're gonna get you out of here in just about 40 minutes or so. Before we do that though, please, 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 before you get all sweaty uh, and maybe slip your fingers, like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. It helps us out a lot. Plus, we upload new workouts every week, mobility videos, other type of content like that, so you'll get those notifications. With that being said, Coach School's gonna hop us into the warm up. Yes, I am. Let's get some jumping jacks going. Right on into it today, 30 out and in. Dumbbell, he has it resting there on the shoulders. 
squat stance. He's gonna give me three squats. So we're gonna do some squats, down and up, keeping that dumbbell nice and high, nice tight stomach. From there, you're gonna stand up, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, nice tight core, strict press overhead. When you finish overhead, try to keep that thumb facing behind you. Once you get done with those, for the rest of the 40 seconds, you're gonna go into thrusters. So Coach Cole's gonna go from that overhead position all the way down, all the way up, and then he'll do that until we go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and relax, thank you. So we'll be doing three strict press, sorry, three front squats, three strict press, and then thrusters. Thrusters is gonna be your score for today's workout. So from that first round, start counting, and then just keep a cumulative total throughout the workout, and then it'll be super easy for you to put a score in. So we'll do left side, first minute, right side, second minute, third minute, we're gonna hold a goblet squat in the bottom position. So Coach Cole has that in front of him. He's gonna go ahead and squat down in this nice low position, chest is up, stomach's nice and tight. We're gonna hold that for 40 seconds. Um, and then the last station is gonna be rest. All right? The best one. Yeah, the best station of all. Or the worst one. Happens to be the shortest of them all. That's that 30 second station compared to the other ones that are 40 seconds. So we're gonna be starting on your left hand side, front squats, strict press, thrusters, we're going to be starting in less than 30 seconds here. Starting on your left side, because for most of us, uh, that is going to be the weaker side, the less dominant side, so if we get through that every round, then our right side should be okay. All right, we are starting in just about 10 seconds. Three front squats, three strict press, and wrap thrusters, Sweet going in three, two, one, here we go, squats. Three front squats. Going into three strict press. Squeeze quads, squeeze glutes, tight four press. One, two, three, and now going into those thrusters. <clears throat> Making sure as we get our thrusters going, we're here for about 20 more seconds of thrusters. For that, the only position you're gonna pause in for me is the one I'm in right now. Cool, with that dumbbell extended overhead, thumb pointing back, and biceps nice and close to the ear. Pausing anywhere else just isn't gonna be super strong for you, so you'll get more rest than you need it pausing here, all right? But the goal is not to rest because we're switching arms in three, two, one, onto the other side, three front squats. Three strict press. And thrusters again. Remember, you're keeping a cumulative total of your thrusters. If you forgot last minute, however many you get this time, just double and go from there. But try to keep count moving forward. 10 seconds. Five, We're holding a goblet squat. Four. In the bottom position. Three, two, one. Here we go. Dumbbell right up here. Top's getting nice and down. He's making sure today that he's still active in the squat, which means his back is nice and flat. And he's not relaxing like this down on the floor. He's also doing a good job keeping his heels down for me. He's not squatting up on his toes like this. Looking for heels down, nice and active. Staying squatted. We have 20 seconds left. I think I may like thrusters more than front squats. You may like thrust in this workout or in general? Well, maybe in general. Um, why? Uh, let's hold that for a second. We got five seconds and then we're going into rest. 30 seconds of rest in three, Two, one. What makes you say that? Um, I just like the rhythm of the thrusters better. You get a little second overhead, you get a second to stand up. Thrust class is kind of up and down, and up and down, and up and down. Who likes that? Well, I think I've said this before, if there was only one movement you could do for the rest of your life, I would do thrusters. So I get that. Yeah. We're back to it. Left side, three. Two, one, here we go. Three front squats. Half of those front squats, three strict press. Once you down to strict press, thrusters for the rest of the time, just over 20 seconds. Good, try to find a rhythm or try to find a pace that you can keep up with. 10 seconds. Take that breath overhead if you need it. Four, three, two, and switch arms for me. Three 
Three front squats. Three sick press. And then thrusters. Good. About 15 more seconds. And then we're doing our loaded squat hold. And five, four, three, two, one. We're for about 40 seconds of squatting here. Keep in mind that the hold today is more important to me than the load that you're loading it with. So if you're really struggling, if you stay down there for a good 40 with your kettlebell, maybe you just have a heavy dumbbell with you right now. I would prefer that you drop the dumbbell off and give me an air squat hold for the whole amount of time rather than having to stand up or put it on the floor, pick it back up. We're gonna be down here for another 17 seconds. Good, you got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, two rounds down. All right, two rounds in. We're doing five rounds total. Didn't mention that before, so we got our third round coming up. All right, 15 seconds back at it on that left-hand side. Again, please remember, try to keep counting those thrusters so you can give us a score at the end. <coughs> Four, three, two, one. Left side, please. Three, three, max thrusters. From the front squats, going into strict press three times. End of the thrusters. Squats. 
three sit press. Thrusters. Again, now that we're in round four, it's starting to breathe a little bit. If you need that breath during the thrusters, do it right at the top of that punch. Take one or two, come right back down with us. Uh, also keep in mind that once you breathe, I want you to breathe in before you squat down. We always want to have a big breath in our belly when we squat. Three, two, one. Find that squat hold. Again, if you're breathing hard and it's that harder to be down here for the whole 40, set that weight down and still want a nice 40 second squat hold. Everybody. If you are still holding your weight, still doing a loaded squat, something that you can do when you're in this position to kind of increase your range of motion is tighten your glutes and hold them for three seconds. Squeeze and hold for three, two, one, and then relax. And if you do that a couple times, you're gonna notice that you're gonna sink into a deeper position, but still keep that nice neutral back. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Cool. Four down, one to go. Okay, all right. You can do one movement for every be thrusters. Yeah. What if? You can do whatever movements you want. You can pick one movement that you can be like world class amazing at. Just instantaneously, what would it be? Snatch. Snatch. Okay. Barbell snatch. Yeah. Barbell snatch. What about you? What do you think about it? I'll yeah. get back to you. I thought about it. That's funny. Usually I'm the one that has to think. Three, two, one. Last round. Left side. Three, three thrusters. You know the drill by now. Uh, if you've been counting and you've been hitting 11 thrusters, you can get 12 for me. Both our last time on each side, get that one extra in. Fifteen seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great goal to end this out for you would be to match whatever number you just did. You just did twelve on that left side. Get yourself twelve on the right. Be your last thrusters for the day. About 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, guys. Down to that squat. Oh, I'm glad we put rest in this time. <laughs> <laughs> We almost didn't put the rest. I'm glad we did for this one. 25 seconds to go, last time in this hold. 20 seconds, and then we got a break until we talk about and get started on the conditioning. So it'll come out of your squat early, all right? Hang on. Hang in there. You got just 10 more seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and we're up. And we're resting. Ooh, hang on now. Right. Nice job, guys. Right. Ooh, all right. Hot holds. Feel the hips. Quick break. Grab a drink. We're gonna take about a minute or so, and then we'll talk about the next movement. I really stumped myself with this question. I have no idea what I want my answer to be. One movement. You love Olympic weightlifting, and that's why I can't. No, it's not gonna be it. I, I honestly think it's probably biking. On what? Well, just to say in general. Outdoors. Or a, a, a biking, assault bikes, road bikes in the gym, concept two bikes. Um, <laughs> biking and rowing. I just think that's the stuff that I have the one of my weaknesses, and the one I like doing. So that's what you want to do only for the rest of your life? No, that's the one I want to be the best at. Be the best at, actually, immediately. Okay. I love weightlifting, so I need to be the best immediately, so I don't mind training it. Ah, uh, I got that thought process. Biking, it's 
just don't enjoy the burn. Not what the burn. about eating donuts and running a mile? Uh, Where's that on the list? Uh, I've done it before and I actually played bad at it. <laughs> so, probably pretty high. So, as of this recording, by the time you see this, this will already have happened, but here in New York City, we're doing a partner donut mile challenge. So if Coach Cole and I were partnered up, he's gonna eat a donut. Once he gets it, at least in his mouth, he can start running 400 meters, comes back, tags me, I eat a donut, run 400 meters. We both do that one more time, and then the fastest times are the winner. So a lot of people are excited about it. A lot of people think they're gonna win, so it should be a fun Sunday in the park. It's the second donut that gets you. I'm sure. You can do you can do two of three things at once, you realize. You can eat, breathe, or run. And during the second donut, you get to pick two of them. Because you can't do all three at once, so it's very interesting. Um, there's a saying, there's your friendships, your career, and your relationship. Oh yeah, you can only pick two. Yeah, pick two, because you'll never have all three doing well. Uh, so I feel like it's in I that. I hate that saying, but kind of true. Especially in New York, if you have a challenging career, Yes. You have a challenging career in New York, and you're trying to have a relationship, and you're still trying to catch up and be with your friends. Yeah, it's pretty challenging. Unless, yeah. But, so we'll tell you about it next week. We'll tell you uh, what the fastest time is. I'm going to call fastest time is um, 7.45. I think it like eight and a half, nine minutes. <laughs> On our website, we found a video of some high school kids doing it. They did it by themselves, so they did all 400 meters times and four donuts and they ran a mile in five and a half minutes. Uh, <laughs> Pretty impressive. All right, our workout today is 15 minute EMA. It's plain and simple. We're gonna give you three separate minutes of some movement. You're gonna work for as much of that minute as you can. We will count down when that minute switches and we'll move on to the next movement. All right, there is no built-in rest here. It's a little bit of built-in rest in minute two where you're gonna be on the floor of the whole time. First minute, Todd's gonna do a little complex of three cleans with his kettlebell or dumbbell. He'll take an arm, you can start with the right arm. Why not? Cool. He'll do three cleans. You can just do two. Then he'll, once he does the third clean, do six alternating reverse lunges. Big step back, front knee is nice and tall. That's three each leg. So three cleans, six lunges. Once he finishes that, he's switching arms, doing the same exact three cleans and six lunges. We'll do that as many times as you can get done in that minute. Then he's gonna hit the floor for our minute two. He'll be doing three arch ups. So a nice Superman hold is gonna have hands over head and he's gonna squeeze up and back down. One, two squeeze, three squeeze. He'll flip over for me and he'll hit six V ups. You have two options here, V ups or tuck ups. Reaching for his shoelaces with legs straight or reaching for his shoelaces with his legs tucking in. That's a tuck up. If that's a better option for you, hit these. Cool. Finally, he will stay on the floor because a minute three starts with three push ups. Elbows nice and close squeeze. Hopping up to the feet, six air squats. He should feel Five, good after all that stretching. Six, yup, and then he'll hit three push up and six air squats as many times as he can, just like the other three minutes. All right, so we'll get the clock rocking. We'll get ready to go in about 60 seconds. All you need is that dumbbell, and we're ready to rock. I said 60 and I meant 30 seconds. We don't need extra rest, we have plenty of talking. Talking about donuts. All right, so let's remind ourselves. First minute, three cleans. Six alternating lunges, switching from side to side. We're starting at 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven. Pick an arm, it doesn't matter because we're gonna switch. Four, three, two, here we go. One queen, two queen, three queen. Six lunges, that's three each leg. And then switching sides, other side, three cleans. Going into six lunges. Just at that halfway point. Good, back to the original side. Over 20 seconds to go. Clean. So for the cleans, if you're using a dumbbell, it's coming back to that shoulder every time. If you're using a kettlebell, coming back to where your thumb is on your chest, that kettlebell is hanging out on the outside. Three, two, one, or on the floor again. Three arch ups, hands overhead, squeeze up, back down, squeeze up, 
back down, squeeze up, back down, roll over. Max Brooklyn. Brooklyn's like, I'm really good at rolling over. <laughs> Six arch ups or B ups. Going back for me, going back to those arch ups or those Superman positions. When you're doing these, try to keep your feet together behind you, arms overhead, not as much out to the side. But trying to reach forward, kind of like you're flying through the sky. Um, we got 30 seconds in, less than 30 seconds to go. Good, last 15 seconds. And then we're going into our three push-ups, six air squats, 10 seconds. Three, three two, one. Todd's into some push-ups for me. I will not be doing the push-ups today so I can live to fight fitness another day with us. Six air squats. That's it, whole 60 seconds. Three push-ups, six air squats. Good. About 20 seconds in. I can't talk. Well, Todd's doing a great job of keeping his elbows close. Not giving me the chicken wing push-ups. We don't want those. We're just stronger here, that's all. Thank you, promise. 25 seconds to go. After this, we're going right back to the top. Going into the cleans and the lunges in 20 seconds. 15. All right, we're back at it in five seconds. Three, two, two one, here we go. Dumbbell up, one, two, three, six lunges. Nice big step back, forward shin. When you're doing these lunges, big step back so that your forward shin is vertical and then you're driving through the heel of that forward foot. So if I was taking a shallow step back, this is what would be happening. Shin is no longer vertical. My knee is over my toes. Instead of being back, 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 over my heel. So just make sure it's a nice big step back every time. 20 seconds to go. After this, going back into the arch ups and then the sit ups, 15 seconds. Hang on for six, five, four, three, two, on the floor you go. Quick reminder, when we arch up, we want a big squeeze. I'm not looking for full banana. I just want you to try and reach, make your body really long when you squeeze. So squeeze and get long, reach your arms overhead, reach your feet behind you, and then the V-ups, but it's up just reach for those shoelaces. <coughs> Again, squeeze and get long, relax. Relax. You should not be able to talk. You're squeezing so hard. That's what I want. That's a good Superman. All right, halfway there. 30 and 30 to go. Ooh. We go, guys. All right, for round three, we're coming. Got some push ups coming up. All right. 10 seconds to go. Go into it. Arch ups, three arch ups. Six feet up from top guards. Five more seconds of work. Three, two, one. All right, three push-ups. Okay. Push-ups. I'm gonna hang out here, pretend like I'm doing some push-ups. Six air squats. This is five rounds. We're almost through round two of five. I can't grow. Keep it rocking. Three more push-ups. We got 35 seconds on that clock. Halfway there. How's it going, Brooklyn? Hard work? You sweating yet? Not sweating yet? Not, not even trying. I'm killing it today. Not even trying. I'm going to yawn for me. Someone doesn't like to get up until noon. So today was an early day for her. Five, four, three, two, here we go. We are back on that dumbbell. We can start the same arm. 
inside the different arm, just want to keep it super even for me, but we're at least going to get one time on each arm through. I think that's a good goal for everyone. So lunges are, is one of the movements that can sneak up on you. And what I mean by that is after getting through these rounds, you might find that you're going slower and slower, or you might find that you're struggling to do all six continuous where it was easier before. So if at some point you decide you want to get rid of the weight and just switch to body weight movement and just practice that so you can keep up a little bit of a faster pace, that would be more preferable. This is our conditioning focused area. So if you're going to err, err on the side of going a little light and a little faster instead of trying to keep that heavy load all the way through the workout. Three, two, one, we're going into our arch ups on the floor. When you arch up, cool. Arch ups are amazing. You use your posterior chamber so much stuff. Make sure your butt squeeze is cool. I love that we're reaching. I love that our toes are reaching. Butt squeeze is on, but relax is off. And we want to be on today and every other day. Good. Three arch ups, six B ups, six tuck ups. Last roll over. All right, halfway there. Twenty seconds. All right, you got fifteen seconds to go. Get through this, then we're going into our push-ups and our air squats. Good. You got three push-ups coming up in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hit those push-ups. One, two. Three, up into the feet. Back to those push-ups yeah. on the floor. Heck yeah, crew. Again, decent amount of push-ups we're getting into. If you need to hop those push-ups down to your knees, that's all right with me. If you have a couch or a chair nearby, you can also stay on your feet, but just elevate what your hands are on. Stick your hands on top of the couch, do some taller push-ups. It's going to lessen the load a little bit, make it more manageable. Same idea. More important that you keep moving through this conditioning portion. If you need to scale the movement, then having to take longer and longer breaks in between the movements. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. On that dumbbell, this is round. Four. Cool, so we're past that point for the day. We got two more. Yeah, that's four. Three planes, six lunges. What if we just forgot what round we were on and did five more just to make sure. <laughs> make sure we did all five. Certainly done that with squat sets. Like sets of eight or tens when we squat sometimes. I'm just like, I don't know if it was ten, but I'll do one more. Can't hurt. Halfway there. All right, we've got about 20 more seconds to go during this. Remember next coming up, we have our arch ups and our tuck our V ups or our tuck ups, 15 seconds. And then we'll be switching. Here we go, 10 seconds, going into those arch ups. Fourth round, for a lot of people, this is the hardest to get through, so you're almost there. Three, two, on the floor, squeeze your butt, reach forward, reach those legs back. In my opinion, we do a lot of core. We also have our quick 10 minute ad videos that you guys can find right below or next door. Yeah, we do. Um, our jumps are amazing. Cool, your abs are awesome. They do a lot of stuff. Your posterior chain, your back, your butt helps you out for a lot of things. All right, this is right from here. Probably the strongest part of our body cumulatively. Definitely stronger than just our abs. So really squeeze hard for those arch jumps. It's only three reps. I want three good squeezes, not half squeezes. Full squeezes, please. Halfway there. Ooh, almost rolled onto the floor. Gotta watch some shorts. Okay, you got 15 seconds to go. After this, we're gonna be going into our three push ups, six air squats, finishing up this fourth round. Six, five, keep going. Three, two, one, push ups. Here we go. One, two, 
three. Yeah. Nice job, son. Three push ups, six air squats. All right. So, we got about 30 seconds left to go in this round. And then you got three more minutes so we get you out of here. Last round's coming up. Here we go, we're paying on. 25 seconds, three more push ups, they're in there. Here they go, one, two, three. I must say Todd's push ups are looking stellar recently. Woo! Crazy when you do something for a couple months. Consistently, gets easier. Abs are looking pretty good too, I gotta say. Man makes one of us. That's from our abs video. Three, Seven, one, two, one. Back on that dumbbell, guys. Three cleans, six lunges. So last time on the dumbbell, do your best not to put it down for me. If we club onto it so far, you can definitely hold on to it this time. All right, 20 seconds in. Last time, last time on the station. Thirty seconds to go. All right, you got twenty seconds to go, and then we have our last round of arch ups and then B ups or tuck ups. Switching in ten seconds. Work up until the end, just like Coach Cool here. It's our last time through. No need to save energy at this point. Switching in three, two, one. Three arch ups. Six V ups or tongue ups. Good. Arch ups and tuck ups for about the next 30 seconds. Keep flipping on over, keep it coming. Just over 20. Oh yeah, Kirk. Hang on. All right, last 15, and then we're going into our push ups and air squats, our last minute. You're almost there, nice work. Time's flying this workout, it feels like. Push up coming in five. Going in three, two, one, three push ups. Last thing to work here. Yeah, top. Find the feet. Carry the team. Good. Here we go. Last round. 40 seconds. Let's finish it nice and strong. Here we go, over halfway. 25 seconds to go. Hang on, crew. Hold that, 20 seconds. You did a lot of working out today. We're at least over three minutes movement right now. So give me at least 15 more seconds. Nice and steady, if not a little bit towards that high end of range. We're gonna move through that beat. Here together. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and that is time. Ooh. Hard work, Brooklyn. You look tired. Take it out. Yeah. Oh, there is some energy. Hey. All right, everyone. Nice job. Nice job. You got the boot camp challenge workout number eight here. Um, First things first, you made it all the way to the end. That's awesome, congratulations. You got this far, you must have liked the workout. Again, do us a favor, pause it right here, do two things, actually three, uh, if you were paying attention the whole time. If you can like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave your score. Your score is the total thrusters you did in the strength portion. <laughs> Besides that, if you're in the New York City area, we have classes every Saturday in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. Private training available in those areas. You can find Brooklyn, Coach Cole, myself on Instagram. It's all down in the uh, description. With all that being said, 
We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna get out of here. I'm Josiah. I'm Cole. This is Brooklyn. We'll see you next time. Take care.